Hey everybody, it's me, Linda. Welcome to Lenny P's Place. Um, I'm here today with a uh, another session for Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge. That's hashtag 2023 CWP Volume 3. And today I'll be working on week 28. Now I didn't... Um, I didn't do 27 with you guys because I was late with it, so I just did it. I'll try to get my book to flatten out a little bit. It's getting pretty thick. I will tell you, um, I'll show you page 27 before we get started. Um, let me come in a little bit so you can see it a little better. Okay, all right. Um, something found in the garage. I kind of uh, uh, did this one pretty quickly and uh, combined some things together. So, something found in the garage. Well, there's buckets, brushes, brooms. So, that stuff that a lot of people keep in their garages. Um, an art scrap is a piece of paper from my uh, desk here. I keep my glass mat covered in, in newsprint paper, so, new, so I always have some scraps of uh, art scraps laying around. Um, a path or a road, I use to sidewalk. It's right here. Only have a little bit of it there. A flying insect. I have a butterfly. And then down here, uh, I don't know if you can see them, are some bees. There's two bees. And a business card. I used my daughter's um, business card. And something flat. I put some lace across there. It's flat. So, yeah, that was... Uh, week 27. So let me come back out a little bit and we will work on week 28. So I've pretty much got everything picked out for that. Um, let's see. We need something. We need a map. So I have my map here. And we need something blue. There's blue on this earth right here. Uh, the sun or moon. I have the sun and the moon on this paper. Then I need some graph paper, and I have some of that. I have a couple pieces of that. And then I need something with legs. I have this little girl. And the bonus was image from a magazine, and that would be this whole page here. So that's all the prompts. So I just need to get it into my book. If I can keep it, keep it down long enough to get it put in. So let's, uh, let's get this glued down. I was going to use glue stick, but I think I'll just use this art glitter glue. Sometimes my glue sticks good and sometimes it doesn't. So, I think this will be good enough. Make sure I'm I have been known to get my glue on the page behind, so I like to put something back there so I know that I'm, whoops, getting it all the way on the page where I wasn't, so there we go.
got this little thing from the Dollar Tree. I really like it. Works real good for spreading glue, but I t tend to pick it up and use it for my glue gun, and then that doesn't it gets glue on it, so hot glue on it, and I have to peel it off. But yeah, it works pretty good. Um, okay, so that's down. Now, um, what do I want to put down next? I think I'm going to put my. I kind of laid this out one time already, so I think this goes next. My graph paper, which also has blue lines for something blue, so kind of serve two purposes there also. This is going to be a quick one. Hope you're all doing well today. Today is um, Tuesday, the, uh, July 11th, so um, I've been trying to get some the titles to the vehicles taken out of my husband's name. That was an ordeal. Um, Yeah, I'll tell you about it. Um, I think I'm going to put this piece of graph paper up at the top, too. Um, as some of you know, my husband passed away a few months ago. And I am now in the process of trying to take care of all those things that you have to do. And uh, so to, uh, Friday, last Friday, I went to the licensed uh, agency place to get the car title and truck title taken out of my um, my husband's name taken off the title because both of our names were on them and so as uh, as I figured it would be a mess the first time I have learned through this process, don't count on anything getting done on your first attempt because, at least in my experience so far, it doesn't happen. You always don't have something you need or there's some reason why you have to wait. Anyway, I went and the only thing that I was supposed to need was the two titles, which I had. And uh, a copy, no, a, a, one of the original death certificates. So I took that and I went up there and they say, well, you have to have a, um, it's a form and it's for a one year allowance. Uh, don't ask me to explain that because I can't. But anyway, they said, you got to go to the courthouse and get that from the clerk's office. So I went to the clerk's office. This was on Friday. Well, the clerk was busy. One was in, one was out. So I said, you'll have to come back on. You'll have to make an appointment. So I made an appointment for today. I went back up there today. And the... clerk says, well, you don't need that because your name's on the title and it's got some letters behind it that says, that mean that if that you, that you don't need anything else that it automatically transfers on the, uh, upon death to whichever is surviving. So, she said, but more than likely, she said, they're going to argue with you over there. So, she said, I'm going to make, I'm going to fix you up. I'm going to send a memo over there to them. I'm going to write, I'm going to type it out and you can take it to them. So, I said, okay. So, she typed me out a memo stating that I didn't need it. And she put the reason why I didn't need it. 
and uh, so I took it over there and I got up to the to the I got waited in line for my turn got up there to the window and the guy says well you need this um, whatever it was and I said well now the, she told me I didn't need that I said she had a note here for you so I gave it to him and I said and she told me to tell you that if you weren't sure to call your um, supervisor or help desk or whatever it is they call for when they have a question so she said you need to uh, she said for you to call them and uh, so he said okay I will because he says I'm pretty sure you got to have it and I said well I, I don't know I said I'm just relaying the message I'm kind of caught in the middle here so he calls then he says I get a different answer every time I talk to those people. You don't need it today. Well, you know what that means. I didn't need it on Friday either. But anyway, so he starts, you know, getting all the paperwork done. And uh, it's time for me to sign. He hands it to me. And I start crying. And I told him, I said, I'm so sorry I get so emotional when I have to, uh, when I have to take something out of my husband's name. I said, it makes me feel like I'm just, you know, erasing him. And, and I said, it just, it just, it's so hard for me. And I thought I had prepared myself before I went in because it happens every time. And I didn't want it to happen today, but it did. So the poor guy's standing there and he's saying, oh, it's okay, ma'am, please don't, don't worry about it. He said, uh, it's going to be okay. He says, you're not erasing him. He said, it's just things you have to do. I said, I know, but it's still, it, it, it's just hard for me. So, so anyway, I sign my things and blowing my nose and wiping my eyes and I got this big <laughs> this big sore on the side of my nose from my surgery. I'm just a mess. And uh, anyway, I get ready to leave and he says, he said, ma'am, I, I think you're doing good. So <laughs> I told him thanks and I walked out and I got in the car and I had a cry. I called my daughter. And I said, I'm not doing very well. She said, oh, I was afraid of that. She said, you should have waited for me to go with you. And I said, well, I have to do these things for myself and I just have to I have to get through them. So I sat there in the car and talked to her for a little bit and then I was okay. So I came back home and now I'm in here and feeling much better and you know some days are just better than others but I'm doing okay now. Uh, but today was it was okay until it was time for me to sign the papers that took him off and then just rough when I have to do that. Anyway, um, this is done. So um, here's my map. My something blue is the sky, and um, the lines on my graph paper are blue. Um, the sun and the moon. The graph paper, something with legs, is a little girl, and bonuses image from a magazine so that would be well it could be this it could be this it could be the ma it all came out of the magazine so it doesn't matter it's all there so anyway this completes um 28 so i think i'm caught up again and uh yeah so that's it for for now this is such a fun project i just love doing this i just wish i could keep i could stay caught up but um, I'll get there. Okay, so uh, thanks for hanging out with me, and um, I will be seeing you soon, so please take care. Uh, be safe, be happy, be well, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.